Hello, good morning everyone and welcome back to Maths with Mr Duffield. Had a request to go through some gradient questions again. A recurring issue with my third form, that's okay. Question one, some applied uh, gradient questions here. Alicia says the gradient of the line is 2. Explain her mistake. You should notice this line here, talking about the one on the right, it's downward sloping, right? It's sloping downwards. That means that the change in y, remember I've talked about the change in y over the change in x before, it isn't positive 6, it is negative 6. Vertically, it's going down by 6 when it's going across by 3, which makes the gradient negative 2. That is her mistake. Question 2. Um, find the gradient of the line passing through the points 4a, minus a, and 6a, 5a. It's complicated because these are algebraic terms, but... It's the same idea. It is always coming back to this change in y over change in x. Let's give this a go. So, two coordinates. 4a and minus a and 6a, 5a. What is the change in y? We've said already before, minus a to 5a is an increase, an increase of 6, in this case, 6a. That is the change in y. Okay, the change in x, 4a is increasing to 6a. That's going up by um, 2a, yeah? If you need to practice um, collecting like terms, working with algebra to get those differences, then that's fine, that's something that you'll need to do, and that's okay, you can, you can spend some time doing that. But 6a divided by 2a, the a's effectively cancel, a divided by a, cancels down to 1. 6 divided by 2 is 3. That's question 2. Fantastic. Now all of the other questions here really are the same idea. So I'm going to give uh, question 3 a go and hopefully you'll feel empowered to do the rest of the exercise. The line passing through 5, negative 2 and 8, C has a gradient of 3. Find C. Okay, so it's the same idea again. Let me write down these two coordinates. 5 minus 2, and 8c. Change in y over change in x, same as always, is the difference between uh, this number here and this number here. So it's c minus, um, minus 2. That's the difference between the two. And then the difference between the x's is 8 minus 5. Okay? That's what's happening when we're finding the difference. And then we're told in the question... But the answer to this is 3. What we've got here is an equation that we can solve. Obviously, it, it makes sense to simplify this first, doesn't it? C minus minus 2, well, that can be rewritten as plus 2. 8 take away 5 is 3, and that equals 3. Starting to see how we're going to get to this mysterious letter C? Not so mysterious anymore, is it? We can get rid of this 3 on the denominator by multiplying both sides by 3. That's cancelling that denominator, and then 3 times 3 on the right-hand side, 9. C plus 2 equals 9, so C has got to equal... Well, you can probably do this for me, can't you? 7, by taking away 2 from both sides, leaving C on its own, and my 9 minus 2 is 7. That's the value of C, and therefore the answer to question 3. All of the other questions in this exercise are of that format. I hope that that's been helpful for you. I will um, send that to the person who's requested it, but it's also useful for all my third formers as well. I will um, trust that you're working hard, and I will remind you that you're being given uh, an instructional video on how to upload your work, to photograph your work, and put it on Teams, because some of you seem to be struggling with that. I hope that you're okay. Stay positive, and see you very soon.